today I'm going to show you how you can do this neon wheel effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Don't worry, this intro is recorded vertically, but the whole tutorial is going to be full screen. All right, we're inside of DaVinci Resolve. I have two clips here, but you can ignore this second clip here because I just need this for reference. So I'm going to pull this out and this is our clip here. I went for our kind of boomerang here, back and forward but you can play as you want. Let me know if you want to see a tutorial about speed ramps. Today I'm just covering up the neon wheel effect. All right, so the first thing we do with our clip is go to right click, new fusion clip. And this step is important to keep the color space as it is. Now go to the fusion page down here and we're starting with a new node here, which is the planar tracker. So we can track this wheel. To do that, hold down shift and press space bar and type in planar. P-L-A-N-A-R and usually I go somewhere in the middle of the clip where I can see my subject perfectly so I zoom in here a little bit use control and the mouse wheel to zoom in in the fusion page it's not like the editing page and now we can just mask our wheel here or just draw a rough mask around our wheel it doesn't have to be perfect just to have the wheel inside of our selection now go up here to set to set your new reference point here otherwise it will start from zero so the mask will start like this this is not something we want to so we set our reference point which is nine frames here also you can see it down here now let's track it from here to the end and go back to our reference point and track the other side as well now we don't need our planar tracker anymore actually on this timeline or in our note section. <laughs> so we take it out using or holding down shift and drag it out like that. Create planar transform down here to create a planar transform which has all the tracking data we just created with the planar tracker. Now go to media in one and click on this symbol which means merge which will create a merge node. Now we connect the planar transform with the merge node. Let me arrange it like this so we can see it better. And now we're going to add a B spline, which is here on the tools. And I'm going to zoom in to, into our picture or our footage here. And I will create four points around the wheel. And now I'm going to add additional points here to expand it. So we have a perfect circle or actually a wheel. Draw around your wheel like so until it's fully covered. And I think with the ellipse icon or with the ellipse tool it won't work because I want to have that wheel like going full and back as you saw in the first or beginning intro. So now we have the spline and let me show you how you do it wrong if you take this blue one uh, if you take this output and put it into the blue one it won't work as you can see it doesn't stick on the wheel so make sure you use the yellow input here and as you can see it stays on the wheel but we don't want to have it full here so we go to the b spline and tap on a solid so it's not covered like this anymore and we add some border width and i probably go with a 0.01 so, and for the Neon effect, you actually have to download a free plugin from Patrick Sterling. I'm going to link it down below so you can download it. And no, it's not an affiliate link. He doesn't even know that I'm using it probably. But he just made an awesome plugin to make this Neon effect happen. So, after you downloaded the plugin and installed it, go to B-Spline. Again, hold down Shift and Spacebar and type in Proto. And add the Proto V2 effect. And as you can see, we have this awesome neon effect around the wheel already. Now go on the side to user. And here are some custom presets, which you can use here, which look actually pretty awesome. So I go with Wanda here for this example, or actually lava also looks awesome. So we go with Wanda here. And if you want to have it a little bit thinner, you can go back to the B spline and change the border width and go down or up with it so i go with something like 0 0.005 i think this looks great and let's play it back and it stays on the wheel as you can see let's go to the editing page and see how it looks like yeah my computer is rendering so this is what we got so far 
not that bad. Let's go to back to the fusion page. And now we want to have that circle effect. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So to do that spin a circle effect, we go back to the B spline one here and change the length actually. The length will make it all. So I want to have the effect to start around here and I don't want to have anything before that. Go to the merge one node, click on blend here, create a keyframe, go one frame back and turn off the blend. So it will start here. All right. And I want my wheel actually, or my neon effect to start up here without the full size of the wheel. I will show you, you will see it. So go to the beast plan one, go to the length and turn it down to about zero or actually to zero. Create a keyframe here. I want to have the effect fully expanded here on this keyframe or on this frame actually. So I'm going there and just change the length to one and it will automatically cre create a keyframe if you created the keyframe at the beginning so let's see how it looks like and now it's going to do this nice looking effect so and as you can see the effect is going back to the same position but we want to have it rotating on the whole wheel so we go back to this frame here create a position keyframe and go to the last keyframe here and change the position to one. And this is the effect we wanted. Okay, let's play it back here in the editing page. And as you can see, it goes fully. It will surround the wheel fully and go back where we just started. And as you can see, there's a little point here. And to avoid that, we are going to back to the beast plan so I can see where the keyframe is made. Go to merge and again create a keyframe on blend and go to the next keyframe and turn it down to zero and we can also play around with the proto effect of course we can change the appearance for that go to the proto effect go to controls and here you can do all the settings like glow size blur size of the glow and you can just change everything. So just adjust the settings to your likings and you can even change the color here if you want to. I will leave it red just for this tutorial here and that's actually already it for this tutorial. Pretty short tutorial only focusing on this effect. Let me know if you have any further questions down in the comments below and I try to answer them and also let me know what you want to see next. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe. This will help my channel a lot and I will see you in the next video.